How do everyone? All right, bush crapping here. All right, this is what fish crapping has just caught. He's uh, my twin brother, you haven't seen him much. He's mute and he, he don't want to be on camera, so I'm going to do talking for him. But fish crapping has just used this hand line and he's caught a perch in margins. Now, we'll get the perch back. And I'll have to tell you how he did it. It definitely wasn't me. I wouldn't do that. But fish crapping would. There we go. All right, now fish crapping. What he's done is it was spinning for perch and he's noticed there were quite a few perch in margins and a lot of people have been using maggots today he's also noticed so what he's done, this is on river he's got uh, a little bit of rubber tubing put two 6mm slingshot balls in going up to like a kite thing you know, when you were a kid and use one of them on end your kite six meters of line maybe even a bit less down to a hook with a fake maggot on and all he's done is, is uh, put that out about two two and a half three meters out and he's uh, just left it there and it's floating line and it's a floating fake maggot so although it's not floating it's just hovering above the silt and weeds and shit so he's, uh, he's left that there and as soon as he's seen line go tight he's held it in one hand like this and he's pulled it through other do you get me? like one hand and pulled it forward so he's set that hook and then jobs are good and then and then he's just reeled it in keep trying to as best he can to keep constant pressure on like he would have done with a rod so hand lining does work, you've just got to practice at it and obviously you're not catching fish in the middle of the lake you're, it's probably better on rivers where you can trot down a, a what do you call it, a float but yeah, hand line and a little weight obviously you can use lead weight, I'll just use uh, fish crapping as you use that because it's cheap bush crapping wouldn't do that and yeah, a really small hook and a fake maggot there you go I couldn't tell you what size it is probably 16 14 something like that yeah so that's what fish crapping's done all right thanks very much for watching fish crapping's video bush crapping will be back next time yeah just a new skill to learn although I haven't learnt it but fish crapping has told me all about it so yeah everyone say thanks to fish crapping for showing us this his hand lining technique. And that's the weight. It's starting to split a bit and coming out. But yeah, you get the idea. It's a good system for weights really because fish crapping has noticed this because it you can slide it up and down. Like that. Right, thank you very much in a bit a uh, couple more tips from fish crapping he's just whispered them in my ear uh, what did he say? Uh, he said that uh, you are better off taking a rod because these days even real bad rods you can get one set this is ender rod you can get them that fall down to like that big so you're better off having a rod on you now I said obviously proper maggots are better but Obviously you can't keep real maggots in middle of a hobo reel or a survival kit. But yeah, a few more tips. Also he said, if you're trying to get trout, a good way to do it is to get balls of bread, ball them really hard, well not super hard, but quite hard so little fish can't get them. So they're like little boilers, say, and then throw them in the river the day before, morning that you're going to do it, and then come back at fish times and that'll get you trout because then they'll be used at feed now that trick with maggot just checking still recording yeah that trick with maggot won't work if the fish aren't used to maggots but a lot of rivers you're lucky because a lot of rivers people do fish maggots so yeah there you're lucky you, there's no reason why you can't freeze an handful to try like that but yeah as long as fish are used to maggots fake ones will work
if they're not used to maggots, fake ones won't. So yeah, just a little tip there from fish crapping. So yeah, because if you didn't know, it's illegal in this country. Just checking, still on. It's illegal in this country to handline. It's just it's to stop poaching, and uh, but fish crapping's not bothered. But he don't like to be on camera, so that's why I talked for him basically. Yeah, it's a shame we can't actually have fish crapping on because he knows a lot more about handlining than I do. Because I've never done it, obviously. So yeah, right, cheers.